What's up guys, it's your dad, say hi to your mom for me. Welcome back to episode 229 of Room Tour Project, the series where you show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspiration for your own setup. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. Any gear, hardware, headsets, mice, all down below for you. But we'll kick it off now, 229. This episode is sponsored by Corsair and the new K100 RGB keyboard. With a ton of new features right at your fingertips, you get the addition of a new multifunctional dial to let you change lighting, music, scroll pages, anything you want. We now have optical switches with their own OPEX linears that are super smooth and fast with their new 4000 Hz pulling capability in addition to a new wrist rest and dynamic RGB lighting zones. This is definitely going to be on a lot of people's wish list coming up this holiday season, so if you want to check it out, I'll put a link for you in the description down below. Whoo, starting us off, coma to the top, and man, no, this is not a clean and minimal edition or anything, but this would fit that to a T, and I'm loving this, you know, it's got the, it's a setup with a view, it's nice and organized, you got the plants and stuff, 100% loving this setup. And yes, while this one isn't labeled, you know, as a gaming setup, because he's powering this off of his MacBook Pro, uh, it's still just a dope setup, so it's going to be showing off, you know? But yeah, the MacBook Pro itself is the 16-inch version, and as for that display, it's an LG 38-inch ultrawide. And you can see peeking off the left side there, he has a GoPro. That's the Hero 5 Black Edition, and it's actually, he's using that as a webcam, which is definitely a cool idea. As for some other gear and hardware, obviously he is using the keyboard on his MacBook Pro as his primary keyboard. But the mouse is Logitech M720 Triathlon mouse. And for audio, he's got some serious stuff going on. I love these speakers. They're the Kef LS50 Mini. And um, I said it before, but I, I really, really want to pick these up, and they just look super nice. And they're powered by the PS Audio Sprout 100 amp, which honestly is the exact amp I was looking at when I was contemplating on buying those speakers. So I'm definitely jealous looking at this with the desk setup. It all fits in really, really nicely. And again, how could you not love a setup that is this clean and it just has that gorgeous view in the background, you got the plants, you just have to feel really refreshed and chill when you're just sitting back there doing whatever it is you do with productivity. Like I said, not too much gaming. And to top it all off, got the Herman Miller sail chair. Man, this is a lovely, lovely setup. Good vibes from it for sure. Next, we have Anmat 06, and this setup is definitely crazy. It's pretty apparent why, but he actually has his very own cubicle that he bought, put it into his house, and made this just killer setup. Six total monitors. I don't even know exactly like what they're all used for. You can see tons of different applications and different security monitoring and stuff. But man, the fact that this all came together in his own cubicle pretty much looks really really cool and I'm sure this wasn't the easiest thing to pull off so the fact that it did come together like this uh, I was like yeah I, I gotta have this on the show I'm sure people would appreciate it so each of those six monitors are a Dell 24 inch display each of them are individually mounted as well so they're not on the desk and as you can see the cable management for all those monitors is great because nothing's really in the way for the peripherals, got the Corsair K68 RGB keyboard with the Corsair Scimitar Pro RGB mouse. And for audio, he's using the Razer Man of War headset. And then on the right side, you could see the really nice custom water-cooled PC inside the Corsair 570X crystal case. Got the AMD Ryzen 9 3950X CPU. A lot of the cooling and stuff is from EKWB, so the water blocks, the pump, um, all courtesy of that. Looking really nice with that kind of pastel blue coolant. Got 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM on an Asus Tough X570 Plus motherboard. And an EVGA RTX 2080 Super XC. So I am definitely digging this. As you can tell, there's just a lot going on, and I would love to know more about what the setup is actually used for and how you can go about acquiring a full-out office cubicle like this. But it definitely is a cool-looking setup nonetheless. And as you can see, with the RGB on, it has this really cool glow to it all around. So good, good stuff. Now we got I Am Drad, and this is another one that I probably could have, you know, saved for a clean and minimal edition episode, but this is a super comfy setup. I love like the, the look of the emerald and sort of copper mixture going on here. It might not even be emerald, it might just be like a dark teal wallpaper or just, you know, a paint on the wall. But it looks super nice and it complements each other really, really nicely. Especially with the wooden desk and more of those darker, like the brown tones and stuff throughout the setup. This is just friggin' awesome. 
But for the display, it is a 34-inch Alienware monitor, the very popular AW3418W display. And checking out the peripherals, loving this setup. It's got the Poker 3 RGB keyboard in a nice wooden case with a wooden space bar, escape, backspace, and enter key, a complimentary custom coiled cable. For the mouse, got the Razer Naga Trinity, as well as the Razer Orb Weaver gamepad on the other side. Then in the back there for his amplifier, it's the JDS Labs The Element, which he has powering three different sets here. So he has the Sennheiser and Mastrop HD6XX headphones, the Sony WH-1000XM3 headphones, and then his gaming headset, the Sennheiser PC37X. Then yes, over to the PC, got the NZXT H500 case inside the Intel i7 8700K CPU with an NZXT Kraken X62 AIO. Got 32 gigs of G-Skill Ripjaws V-Series RAM on an ASRock Z390M ITX motherboard. And an EVGA RTX 2080 Ti Black Edition GPU. And as you can see inside, all black. All black hardware and stuff and no RGB. So a super stealthy looking build. And altogether for cable management as well, as you can see underneath the desk, he does have one of those sort of gutters there to keep it all up and organized for the power bricks. Nothing drooping down onto the floor, so great job with that. Just a great job all around. Like I said, I love the complimentary color scheme you have going on. Looks really, really good. Nice vibrant wooden desk as well. You know, lots of texture going on there, accented by the nice plants on the side. Then coming in hot is Chris M with a dual setup here that is just, yes, drooling. Absolutely drool worthy here. Nice custom L-shaped wooden desk, loving that dark stain on it as well. Big old window there for some natural lighting, the ivy, and you turn off the lights at night, the Nanoly 4 light panel shining nice, the greens and teals and stuff, complimentary RGB around the setup, complimentary color matching wallpaper. This is aesthetic, people. So we'll check out the right side of the desk first, which is his main setup. As you can see with the stacked monitors here, the one on the bottom is a Samsung Odyssey G7. It's a nice 27 inch, 240 hertz display with the overhead being a Dell 34 inch ultra sharp monitor. So two fantastic monitors here to have. Seem to be running a rain meter as well. So good choice with that. Uh, for speakers in the back, you can see for audio, the Bose Companion 5. And for the rest of his peripherals, he has a custom and pro two keyboard. Really like in that nice gradient keycap set he said they're the emerald alferior keycaps and for the switches inside he has lubed and switch film telios v2 linear switches then for the mouse the razor death adder elite nice combo you got going on here and then we'll check out the pc that is powering this main side of the setup another nzxt h500 case and again inside with all the rgb and the hardware and stuff matching to the rest of the setup always nice got an intel i7 8700k cpu with the nzxt kraken x63 aio got 32 gigs of course for mentions rgb pro ram and an asus rg strix z390 f motherboard with an evga rtx 3080 xc3 gpu and i think this actually marks the first 3080 we've had on the series so good job locking one of those down and then we'll just start from the beginning and take a look at the left side of the setup which is the secondary one and this super nice as well definitely not slighted in any way because he's rocking the acer predator 27 inch and as you can see this is powered completely by a laptop the alienware 15 r2 it's got a gtx 970m for graphics 16 gigs of ram and it's powered by the intel i7 6700 hq cpu for the peripherals this side has the Corsair K70 RGB Mark II SE Rapid Fire keyboard and the SE stands for Special Edition, which makes it that nice, you know, white and silver colorway. With the Razer Death Adder Essential mouse, and for audio, the Creative Pebble 2.0 speakers in white with the SteelSeries Arctis 7 headset. And again, a peek underneath the desk and an absolutely fantastic job of cable management for having dual setups. The fact that you can really only see the one outlet, you know, power cable going into it, it's, this is phenomenal. And I'm loving those steel legs on the desk as well. So I'm sure, you know, to support all this gear and hardware it needs to be hefty, but man, this is an all-timer. I love this setup. I don't even know what it is, but it just, it grabs me, you know? It's probably something to do with the colorway and all the matching and stuff, but this is fantastic. And then closing us out is MVP with the triple monitor setup, where the dual with the mounted TV as the overhead got the nice live edge to the wooden desk there, some RGB lights underneath to give it some sort of, you know, glow to kind of match the wallpaper on the monitors as well. 
And yes, it's triggering me a little bit that those bottom two aren't exactly lined up, but I get it, not all mounts are gonna allow for that. It just triggers me just a slight, slight bit. But for those two displays, those bottom ones are Acer 24 inch, they're each 144 hertz, and that mounted overhead is a 32 inch Samsung TV. You can see the cable covers coming down from the TV as well as the speakers on each side, so good job hiding that so you don't have this black cable just popping out. Then talking peripherals, he has the glorious GMMK compact keyboard with the glorious Model D mouse. He's also using the glorious mouse bungee on a BenQ and Zowie Davina mouse pad. Again, with the RGB lights behind the desk, it matches the mouse pad, even some of the accents on his keyboard. So good job, you know, keeping it to that color theme. And then for audio, chilling on the left monitor is his headset, the SteelSeries Arctis 7 wireless. And those speakers mounted on each side of the TV are Logitech Z337. And then lights are off, RGB's on. I like how that candle is sort of casting that shadow of the bonsai tree onto the wall. I think it looks pretty cool. And then over to the PC, we could check out on the right side of his desk. Uh, the case itself is the Corsair Carbide 275R case. And inside is an Intel i7-8700K CPU with the Corsair H115i RGB Platinum AIO. Got 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM on the MSI Z370 SLI Plus motherboard with an Aorus RTX 2060 Extreme GPU. So all together, it's a really clean, well put together setup. And like I said before, my only real gripe is I wish those bottom two monitors were just directly side by side. But other than that, definitely a nice looking setup, man. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 229 of Room Tour Project. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget, if you saw anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below, as well as some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup. If you want to be considered to be on a future episode of Room Tour Project, just check the description down below for it all. If you like this episode, give it a big thumbs up, show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.